This is Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination and Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. You can find the book worldwide on Amazon, both Kindle and paperback versions. You can find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. You can join us on Facebook. Today we want to look at the death of Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is dubbed the King of Pop by uh, by a very famous friend, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, mm, I should know her name, uh, anyway, he was dubbed the King of Pop. He died on June 25th, 2009 at the age of 50 in his home in Los Angeles. Uh, this man, Conrad Murray, was convicted of second degree murder of Michael Jackson, also called manslaughter, uh, on August 29th, 2009, several months later, almost three months later. He was sentenced to four years of prison and served two years. The first thing I want to do is I want to throw a relationship spread. This is going to be Michael Jackson. This is going to be the corporations. And I want to know, did AEG, the promoter, or Sony Music, did they order the murder by overdose of Michael Jackson? Because right before... Hmm, the mustard seed fell out. Right before his death, in the days leading up to his death, Michael Jackson stated... They are going to kill me. Okay. And the night before his death, Randy Phillips, uh, the president of AEG Live, uh, he, oh, he said they are going to kill me about Randy Phillips. And Janet Jackson says, after his death, in my heart, I know my brother was murdered. It was a conspiracy. So, let's just look at this. This is Michael Jackson's side. The King of Pop. He definitely, it was ruled a homicide. Death. Okay. So Michael Jackson, he had 13 number one singles in his life. He had $750 million in record sales worldwide. He was worth $2 billion. Um, his 1982 album, Thriller, is the best-selling album of all time. For this album alone, he won eight Grammys and Album of the Year. Uh, Michael Jackson became famous at the age, at the ripe old age of 10 years old. Uh, they were Jehovah's Witnesses, he and his brothers and family, and apparently the father, Joe Jackson, would beat them with a belt and drive them very, very hard uh, to perform and to, to get better, etc. So, the question that I want to know, okay, so this man, Conrad Murray, was convicted of his murder. Second degree murder. Um, Michael Jackson said, they are going to kill me. And he meant, he said this about, uh, about his record company. Uh, so this is the record company. This is the, this is AEG. Uh, this is the corporation. Hightower is about the corporation. King of Hearts is a, a neutral man card. Dr. Conrad Murray, this man, he was only his personal physician for approximately a month between May and June 2009. That's like a month. 
And at the end of that month, Michael Jackson is dead. Uh, there's some very suspicious circumstances associated with this. Uh, so let's, let's just go over that quickly. Michael Jackson arrived for rehearsal uh, the night before around 6.30 p.m. Um, uh, this man, a man, Ed Alonzo, a magician, uh, said he had great, he looked great and had great energy. The rehearsal went past midnight. They started around 9 p.m. They went past midnight. That's not unusual. It's very high energy. Uh, the next morning, Jackson did not come out of his bedroom. According to the attorney of Murray, uh, Jackson's physician, uh, Murray entered the room and found Jackson in bed. Uh, he tried to revive Jackson for five to ten minutes. Jackson had a weak pulse and his body was still warm, at which point he realized he needed to call for help. Murray stated he was hindered because there was no landline phone in the house. Murray stated that he could not use his cell phone to call 911 because he did not know the exact address. How did you get to work that day if you didn't know the address? Uh, Murray stated he also phoned security but didn't get an answer. Finally, Murray ran downstairs, yelled for help, and told a chef to bring security up to the room. By the time security called 911, it was at least 30 minutes. Okay, so he spent 5 to 10 minutes trying to revive him. There was excuse number one, there's no landline. Excuse number two, he can't use his cell phone because he doesn't know the address. Excuse number three, he called security, but there was no answer. Excuse number four, he yelled for help. Excuse number five, finally he went to get a chef, and all that time, it was 30 minutes later. Uh, paramedics came. They performed CPR for 42 minutes at the house. Um, there's conflicting stories about that. He revived. He didn't revive. They took him to Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, and Jackson was pronounced dead at 2.26 p.m. So, very... Very disturbing. And it's also said that Jackson was worth, at the time of his death, uh, he was staging a comeback. He was, Jackson was broke. Um, and he was staging a comeback. And he was worth more dead than he was alive. So, what's happening? And I, and I want to know, was this murder, okay, because this man's convicted of murder, was this murder ordered? by the corporation. Let's see what we see here. Okay, we have Magi, Three Blackbirds, and Veil, Secrets. Okay, talking about Secrets and the King of Pop. So, 23. Okay, at this point in his life, Michael Jackson, uh, he, he's called uh, Wacko Jacko. Um, there's been... Uh, there's also, as you'll recall, there was the molestation charges. He's accused of molesting uh, this boy, Gavin Arvizo. Um, he dangled a baby, uh, one of his children from a, a... He dangled one of his children from a balcony in, in Germany. Uh, you know, his life is kind of... The secrets are just really weighing down on Michael Jackson. People are talking about the secrets. Uh, you know, what's wrong with Michael Jackson? Even though he's so talented, is there something wrong with him? Is he molesting children? And we need to address that later. Uh, because Michael Jackson was very upset about that. He was so upset about the allegations of child molestation that apparently he hired a very powerful witch to curse Steven Spielberg. How did Steven Spielberg get wrapped up in this? I don't even know, okay, but that's what I hear. Um, that's a, so they were like, he was like friends with Steven Spielberg, and that fell out, and he feels set up on that as well. So what's happening over here with the high tower, with the, the business, AEG, the promoter? We have City, Inheritance, Mercury, and I want to know, did they order his hit? Okay, so... 
They're the money people. They're the producer. 1927. 27 is cross. So here we have olive tree. Here we have cross for the ad. Uh, Mercury. City. Communication into the city. Hmm. Communication into the city. Okay, the, the, the money people, the producer is communicating. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, coffin, the outcome. Coffin and Mother Earth. This adds 16, which is coffin, death, murder. Uh, so death, uh, the situation, it resulted in death. This, this communication resulted in death. This communication to the city resulted in death. So I asked, did the corporation give the order? Because nobody was charged, okay, at the... Nobody was charged through AEG or Sony with this murder. But uh, Conrad Murray went down for it. Okay, and here's a question. Why would Conrad Murray... Uh, intentionally do this okay and he was convicted of what is essentially gross negligence and gross negligence is like you are so stupid man anybody with any grain of sense in your position would not do that that's what gross negligence is so he was actually convicted of second degree unintentional murder like dude who would do that i mean and he gave him an overdose of propofol which is for use in surgeries, okay? Michael Jackson, he's, like a lot of these Hollywood people, he's taking drugs to sleep and et cetera. So, uh, did, was it an ordered murder? Because Michael Jackson is just, there's too much problems. Okay, over here on Michael Jackson's side, we have a lot of secrets. People are just talking about him and it's not good, okay? And his, his, uh, even though people love Michael Jackson, I love Michael Jackson. Uh, I love his music. He's so amazing. Uh, people were, I remember this in 1982. People were just talking all kinds of negative stuff about Michael Jackson. And the secrets were overwhelming his, his star quality fame. You know, and he had all those plastic surgeries. And everybody's like, what's wrong with this guy? Uh, is there something wrong with him, even though he's so famous? You know, is there a dark underbelly that's being hidden? And that's what's reflected over here. Even though he's still this, this magi, the, the most powerful card in the deck, he's, he's the king of pop. There's all these secrets swirling around him. So was it ordered? They communicated orders into the city, the powerful people, the money people. They communicated orders into the city that resulted in death in the situation death in the situation so mother earth is very physical death injected into the body death into the body death in the situation death in the body yeah so i i would conclude that conrad murray was ordered this man was ordered to overdose him uh he was ordered to overdose him and there's some evidence to that effect Let's look at another one. Okay, there's the molestation of charges. Okay, Jackson's accuser in 2005, okay, he just felt, Jackson felt like he was being just driven by this. He was staging a comeback. He was broke. Uh, he was just spending so much money. He had like 40 bodyguards, this huge, you know, the Neverland Ranch, which is like several thousand acres. And he had 40 full-time bodyguards and a whole staff. It costs a lot of money. Um, and so he was broke and the, the company AEG, who this represents was driving him and he said they just didn't care about him. Um, so he's, he sued them. He, he and his family sued them for pushing him too hard. Uh, the question I want to know is. The, the accusations of child molestation, the main one, the, the accusation that went really public and ruined Michael Jackson's image, uh, was this boy Gavin Arvizo. Uh, was that a setup? Okay, well, 
He was found innocent of all charges. Yeah. So was it a setup? Was it a setup? You know, because he was suing his company, that company at the time. Was it a setup? Wow. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. That's an interesting throw. Let's move it here to the center. So let's let's talk about this a little bit. Okay, the, the accuser, the main accuser of the child molestation was this boy, Gavin Arvizo. He was, uh, he was 13 at the time um, when the alleged crimes were committed. Arvizo was diagnosed with cancer. He had his spleen and his kidney removed. Wow. At, you know, kids like 12, 13 at this point. Jackson or organized a blood drive and accommodated his, for his chemo treatments. He paid for his chemo treatments. There, soon thereafter, Jamie Masada uh, fulfilled Arvizo's wish to meet Jackson. So Jackson is this wonderful good Samaritan, and he's paying, he's helping this kid out who, de who he doesn't know. And Arvizo and his family met Michael Jackson six times, uh, eight times, okay? And he had 20 phone conversations with Jackson, and his cancer went into remission. Okay, and so uh, there's all kinds of problems with the father and the mother. They divorced. David Arvizo, the father, he says, uh, she, the woman, the mother, had been in a mental hospital, and my children are routinely rehearsed by their mother, Janet, to do whatever she says, whatever she wishes. Um, Janet, the mother, encouraged her children to call Jackson Daddy. Janet, who went by the name, she also went by the names Janet Ventura and Janet Jackson. She was identified, she, she was very not credible. Her behavior in the courtroom was widely criti criticized. It's, um, someone reported, it's pretty clear that she's mentally ill in some way. And when she first starts testifying, she's very sedate, and as time goes by, uh, and possibly the medication wears off, she becomes crazier and crazier, and you can hear people in the courtroom saying, oh boy, here it comes. And sometimes the courtroom would laugh at her answers. At the trial, the jurors criticized her habit of snapping her fingers and staring at them. Very offensive behavior. Uh, she was often unresponsive to the prosecution, was defensive over very small issues, was admonished by the judge for arguing. She would repeat catchphrases such as, it's burning inside my memory and money doesn't buy ha happiness. She also enrolled all three of her children in acting classes. Uh, she was convicted of welfare fraud and... What a mess, okay? And this is the person accusing Michael Jackson of pedophilia of her son. So he's a good Samaritan. He was found, Michael Jackson, after an 18-month trial, was found not guilty on four counts of molesting a minor, not guilty on four counts of intoxicating a minor with intention to molest, one count of attempting attempted child molestation, one count of holding a boy and family captive, on his 2,700-acre Neverland ranch. He was also accused of extortion and child abduction. None of these charges, he was found innocent of all of these charges. So, uh, was this a setup? Okay, uh, was this a setup? So, broken chalice, snake, strength, and sun. Sun says yes. Okay, sun is like a yes card. Uh, broken relationship, Snake, this is probably the mother. This can be a divorced woman. Strength, they're after his money. Um, 12, 14, 25 equals seven hearts. So this woman was just after his money. Yes, this woman was just after his money. Really sad, really sad. Okay. I think I'm going to, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to end it there. So anyway, Michael Jackson, the king of pop. Uh, this is Conrad Murray. He was convicted of second-degree murder 
with propofol, you know, drugging him to death. Uh, the, the first question I wanted to explore was, was Conrad Murray ordered to kill Michael Jackson because he was worth more dead than alive? Michael Jackson, the secrets were just overwhelming him. People were just thinking he's too weird, even though he's still the Magi, the King of Pop. It hadn't ruined him, but it was bad. Uh, people were just talking. Uh, yes, they did order it. Mercury is, they kind of put it out there and they kind of ordered it. And it resulted in his death. They either hinted around, it doesn't seem like it's very direct, they don't get the murderer card, but it's kind of indirect. Uh, and I wonder, now I wonder if he received some kind of a payment. That's a good question. Did Conrad Murray seem, receive some kind of compensation for killing Michael Jackson? Because it really seems like it's ordered. Let's just throw one card. Did he receive some kind of... Yeah. It's contract. Contract hit. Can you see that? Yeah, two diamonds. So contract hit. He he received compensation. You know, they they paid him. A lot of money. This is a big money card, inheritance. Big money card. Yeah. Okay, and then this this all this molestation and, and Michael Jackson is found innocent of molesting uh this boy Gavin Arviso. He you know no good deed goes unpunished. And the mother was just after the money. And it's, it's very clear. The, money, the mother was just after the money. Very sad. I feel very sorry for Michael Jackson. What a great performer. What a great artist. And obviously he really wanted to be kind to this boy, Gavin Arvizo. And it just, it, it destroyed his career. These, op this, uh, these opportunistic people destroyed his career and did not care about him, and it ended up in his, his murder. It ended up in his murder. Terrible. Really, really, really terrible. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. You can find the book. Worldwide on Amazon, both Kindle and paperback versions. You can find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. You can join us on Facebook.